Hey everyone, Josh with Gaming Underground Miniatures back again. Today we're going to be doing a review of the Battlephone Traveler bag. It is one of the newest bags from Battlephone, and I'm really liking it. I just got it in recently, and I wanted to go through it with everyone and do a review, see what they thought of it, and get some feedback and give my feedback. So this is the Traveler bag. It's a pretty decent sized bag, all things considered, and it is what it kind of sounds like. It was made with traveling in mind. Um, air flight, train, car, whatever you travel, it was made specifically so that you could carry it on for airplanes, and it kind of just goes from there. It has a nice handle so you can carry it just like you would any other bag. It has two handles right on top, so you can carry it in that manner. It also, this was one of the cool things I saw when reviewing it. So if you're looking at the back, there's a flap that doesn't quite make sense, right? Well, that folds down, and you can roll it up kind of like a mountain hiking backpack. So you would get that turn, and it can actually turn into a backpack. This is something I'm actually loving about a lot of their bags, is the backpack support that they're starting to do with a lot of them. But if I wanted, I can go and easily have a backpack now, and... Having a backpack makes it pretty convenient. Clip it on. So now you gotta imagine you're at a convention or you're at a tournament, you've traveled for a while. You can safely have your stuff just walking around with it like this. You can also carry around one of their rollout bags. So say I got something like this one. This is that big boy, the 1520XL, as some of you might know. And probably my favorite thing is the fact that it just has that suitcase, luggage case kind of roll for people. Makes it very easy to travel with two bags that way. Put this back for a moment. Seal it back up. And one of the reasons I got this was for tournaments. I do a lot of Age of Sigmar tournaments. I love playing Sigmar. And this for me kind of becomes almost the perfect bag when I'm thinking of putting in like a 2000 point army because that's where most of the games lie in. So 2,000 points or less. I can travel around with it, and it's not going to be encumbersome. It's not going to be anything like, I don't have to roll it through a store if I don't want to. I don't have to do anything that makes it difficult. The different ways I can carry the bag. It has classic pocket side, so you can put whatever kind of belongings that you would feel comfortable with right there. It also has a front pocket, so you can put your battle tome or anything like that in there. Bam, I now have my battle tome secured. And then whatever you'd want to place in top of there, so maybe like a tablet, uh, a lot of people are using like the ebooks now, so you put your tablet in here. You could put, you know, your wallet, uh, keys, anything that you felt you wanted to have secured in that part, you can put it in there. It has the front hoop straps, so you can add some of their add-ons depending on which add-on you might like. I don't really do their add-ons too much, but different people like different things. And then for the big part, of course, we're going to look in the bag itself. Now 
this was what I wasn't sure on. When I ordered it, I just didn't know what the size was. It's always hard to tell in their videos just how much space you're getting. Uh, unless you're like mathematician or you know construction worker or something where you just work with numbers and can visualize space perfectly it can be hard to tell sometimes but this this I really like uh, the, the foam topping is actually a tray so you can fit large and small trays the way they've designed it so you got a little small tray perfect for some of the bigger infantry units you have the topper that can go with it. Second topper for the second tray. You have, and this is the standard loadout. I should mention that. Sorry, I didn't mention that to start with. This is the standard loadout traveler bag. You have another tray. Once again, perfect for some infantry. And uh, looks like they gave you the one that's perfect for a standard bear or two. So you can have a flag. this one and there's one more small one it looks like they were able to fit in so they got three small ones in here uh, once again you have another tray looks like they put some banner space in between this time a little bit bigger of an outing for that so uh, maybe terminators kind of size looks like uh, aggressors I'm trying to think of a unit that might have banner. Oh, uh, Iron Jaw Brutes. They, I think they have a banner. I, that's one of the few factions I don't play. But just to give an idea of size, like it would fit a small grouping of them with their banner. So that works pretty well. So we have three trays with two toppings so far as for the small one. Now for the large size, we have, let's just throw it out there real quick. We have a large topper. We have another infantry tray. Uh, this one also looks like it's designed for some bigger guys. Like, I could probably fit my custodes in here. Which, once again, that would be a perfect army for a travel bag. Doesn't take many of them to get to 2,000 points. And then I'm secured and ready to go. Um... Another army that comes uh, to mind right off the bat is Ogre Maul Tribes, and you'll see why I say that in just a second. So you have a tray here. Looks like it'd be perfect for the Ogres as far as them. Uh, maybe not their riders, but that's okay because they fit their six large vehicle tray in here. And this would fit like the Beast Call Raiders perfectly you put them in here probably only need three or four of them realistically so then you can put their mounts in a couple of other ones uh them them alone that would make a 2000 point army without any of the rest of this phone so yeah you'd have options there uh another thing off the bat space marines i think you could easily fit a 2000 point space marine army in here oh uh, you might have to make like a little dash for the executioner gun just so it could fit into two but other than that you have the tanks you'd have room for your primaris you would have room for aggressors or terminators pretty much any of like the super meta stuff right now you could fit in there custodes like i said would fit well uh just looking at the bag off the bat I don't know how horde armies would do. Um, and I'm, like I said, this is just me thinking out loud. Uh, I don't think horde armies might transport well in this. Let's go with Slanesh. Uh, that's a kind of a big meta army that can be ran right now. You could probably fit your Keeper of Secrets in here. So you'd have the large thing for the vehicles. Uh, you could keep your Seekers probably in here. So you have some units of Seekers, you have your Keeper of Secrets. Maybe if you bought one of their smaller infantry trays of the large size, you could get a couple of units of that. And then a couple of the 
infantry small infantry trays meant for them. Let's see, two, four, six, seven, ten, fifteen. Okay. So you might be able to skate by on some of the horde armies. I don't think you could do Skaven. So that's another perfect example. Like I don't think you could do Skaven. Uh, I don't think you could do Git Mob unless you were doing like trolls. If you did a troll heavy list, you could probably do that. But I don't think you could fit that in there. So the bag isn't perfect for everyone. The bag in itself for its design and what it's meant to do, I think is as close to perfect as you can get. It is perfect in the sense of it does what they aim for it to do. You want to go on an airport and you want to make sure your army stays with you. It does. Like they're gonna, it will be able to carry on. Um, they've even said in their video, one of the reasons they did the backpack design was kind of like a workaround as well. So, because you know, depending on what different airport, who you're dealing with, it could all be different ways. So, this was designed. They worked with airports to make sure it would pass. Uh, the backpack is extra insurance. That way it gets through with that. As far as for the travel aspect, I think it does it well. If you're someone that travels a lot and you're someone who's using armies, chances are you probably have a couple of armies. And I have a hard time believing you wouldn't have at least some sort of army that could fit in here. You might not be able to fit a horde army if that's one of the ones you run in here, but I'm pretty sure you could fit at least one of your armies in here and be happy with taking that to a tournament. This is actually bigger than I expected. When I was looking at the video, I thought, okay, I can fit, and this just to give an idea of what I was thinking, uh, I was looking at running the ever chosen so I was like all right I'll fit Archeon in here maybe nine Varengard and that's what I was aiming for so and now that I see it now that I'm really looking at it I definitely know I can fit Archeon I definitely know I can fit uh, the Varengard and I can probably even bring some extra like some of the regular knights some of the warriors I got you know I can bring my books so this fits more than I thought it could this is perfect for elite armies this is perfect for even mid armies so anything from over mole tribes and custodes down to say space marines and maybe like a cities of sigmar army they're not exactly a horde army but around there, uh, Stormcast, you could fit the Bone Reapers. I don't see any reason why you couldn't travel with the OCR Bone Reapers in this. So, you definitely have options. You definitely have ways that you can play with it. So, for me, this bag would be a solid 4 out of 5 stars. I think it misses just a couple notches in what it can transport. But as long as you go into it with the right mindset, you're going to be fine. What you're going to transport will be fine. And yeah, that's just my take on it. I'd love to hear what you guys think of it. Let me know what you think about the size of everything. What would you put in it? Uh, what kind of army would you feel comfortable fitting in a bag like this? It does have solid size, just in case anyone was worried about that. So you have your solid transport in case anything that bangs around against it. So, yeah, like I said, let me know. Happy doing these reviews. I really like the bags. Uh, I will keep doing different reviews because I do have a couple more bags that I would like to show you guys. All right, well, thank you all for your time. As always, stay safe, stay happy, and happy wargaming.